tell you, I've had enough of this traffic duty. Well, shouldn't you be in the road? Look, I've tried it in the road, and I've tried it standing here, and it works better when I stand here, OK? Well, I'm going in the road. Well, fine, you go in the road, then. It's your point. I'll see you later. Cheers, mate. Appreciate this, Colin. Got to have it back by four. Can you have a look at the exhaust for me as well? Yeah, will do. Cheers. Flash punts. Stay there till ten, Narika. Bit of luck the engineer should have turned up by then. Will do, Sarge. Morning. Morning, sir. I see the lights at Cross Street are still malfunctioning. Yes, out, sir. Bit of a bind having to cover them. Well, they're being well paid for it, aren't they? Anything else? The usual pot boilers, sir. Oh, DAC Hicks has been asking for you. Hicks? What does he want? Oh, Mike, don't run Can't away. Can't stop being busy. Urgent appointment. One of these days, he's going to meet himself coming back. I only wanted to tell him about that note in his tray. Saber, thanks. There are two messages, Mr. Brownlow. DAC Hicks would like to speak to you. Yes, I know. And your wife's been on. It is bad luck about your roof. Please, Marion, it's been the sole topic of a one sided conversation all night. Yes? Uh, sorry to interrupt, sir, but your wife is on my extension. I'll transfer it if you like. No, don't bother. I'll take it in there. Yes? Look, Marjorie, there's absolutely nothing that I can do about it here. Well, you're just as capable of looking up roofers in the yellow pages as I am. What do you want at the damn place? Holiday cottage problem, sir? Yes. Gales have blown a tree through the roof. Nasty. I told them it had Dutch elm disease. Trying to get a tree surgeon up there is like trying to pull teeth. I thought it was National Trust. Yes, it is. Well, you think they'd be falling over themselves? Well, they're not. And I'm looking at a restrictive repair bill. You want to do what you do here, sir? Mm -hmm. Give them some grief. Well, it's bureaucracy gone mad up there. What does Hicks want? Heinous. Apparently, Garfield failed to salute him this morning when he was leaving Cross Street. Morning. Morning. Is Mr. Burnside around? No, he's with Sergeant Gregg at a crime prevention seminar, ma'am. Oh, yes, I forgot. Is there any reason why all this paperwork isn't being channeled through crime support admin? Uh, well, they're a bit behind, actually. Quicker this way. Oh, no, if they've got a problem, it's for them to sort out. I want every piece of paper taken over there and left. Then let's have you on the streets. Old-fashioned crime prevention? But, Mum, we can't actually do uh, that. I'm not repeating myself, Tosh. Where's Mike Dashwood gone? If I see him, mind, it'll take you all your time to keep my hands off the squad. Very good of you to help us out, Mrs Lawrence. Much appreciated. That's right. How would you know? I'll just get the door open and yeah. Breaky jaw for putting me through this heartache. Shall I take that for you? Right, up we get. Being a detective doesn't give you the right to take liberties, young man. I wouldn't dream of it, Mrs. Lawrence. Mm -hmm. Sit you down. Hey? 
performing point duty is playing directly into their hands. You should have stood up against Marion and the town cry instead of capitulating. It may have escaped your notice, Reg, but I was given a direct order and there's no way I'm being done for discipline. Look, we're talking about carcinogens, mate. Lead pollutants ingested directly into the lungs. Tuna, Reg. Mercury. Yeah, it's probably <laughs> dolphin. The future of this planet lies in our hands. It ain't up for jest. Neither's failing to salute Higgs. Look, I didn't see his car. Well, I might as well be talking to myself. You said it, Reg. OK, but next time, don't bleed on about headaches. And I'm making representations about point duty above and beyond school and hospital points. You're a brick, Reg. And if I was you, I'd get a good wash. All that lead could turn you into an idiot. <laughs> well, of course I understand the situation, but all I can say is I'll speak to the officer concerned. Yes, sir. Well, naturally, I'd feel insulted myself in similar circumstances. Yes, sir. Oh, Derek, naughty. Well, all I can say is the engineers have been informed. Yes, sir, of course. Yes, consider it done. Derek! Sir? Mrs. Lawrence, I'm sorry. Can I move you over to that side? This is going to take long. Hopefully not. So, exactly what am I supposed to do? Well, uh, you keep looking at the front of that building, and if you see the man who said he fixed your roof and then stole your purse, just tell Haley here. I might be conned once, but never twice. Don't worry, I'll recognise him. I didn't realise you wore glasses. I'm 83. Yeah, well, if you see him. I've said, haven't I? No, thanks. Take one. Hey, look. Company. Remember, tell Haley. What's she going to do? Toot. Then I'll go over and get him. <laughs> You're doing a watching job, love. Be about an hour. Onerous as the task may appear, Garfield, when you see a senior police officer, you will salute him. Yeah, but I just finished traffic duty, so I didn't see him. He's a DAC man. Yeah, I know his name, but I just don't really know what he looks like. What? Well, I've only ever seen a photo, sir. You defy understanding, Garfield. Yeah, but they changed that much, sir. Now look, officer, you sharpen your ideas. Or it won't be another posting you'll be looking at. It'll be alternative employment. Now get out of my sight. Sir. Excuse me, Mr. Brownlow. I've managed to get hold of a 1987 copy of the Cumbrian District. Oh, thank you. Why don't you come for a coffee and we could compare notes? Good idea. I could do with a few minutes about the firing line. He is like a man with a few tiles missing. Pardon? Tree went through the roof of his holiday retreat. Nice to be able to afford one. Yeah, old money on his wife's side, I think. Oh, sir, there's a bloke at the counter from the engineer's department asking for you. Oh, is there now? Right, come on. Well, well, a real collector's item. Hollis, wearing a hat, having actually been on the streets. I'm not wishing to interrupt, sir, but can I speak to you formally? Concerns health and safety. I'm going to request a transfer. I've just returned from Cross Street, where Officer Data's engaged in traffic control. So? I think it's a matter that should be discussed seriously, sir. So you're refusing to mend them? Your words, not mine, mate. So I've got to provide police cover while you just think about it, is that right? Life, innit? Who's your boss? So don't start blustering me about staff. If you had my workforce, you'd be in the funny farm. This is not on, you know. It's just not on. Look, Derek, isn't it? I've made a note of your complaint. Cross street lights are on the list. We'll get round to them when we can. Today? Who knows? Well, of course I realise it's a specialist job. That's why I'm contacting you. Well, how long is it going to take? Three months? Look, that's totally unacceptable. Surely there must be some emergency facility for patching it up against the weather. Well, good. How much is that going to cost? How much? Two thousand pounds? See you tomorrow, then. Thank you. Bye. Nice to get an early finish. Finished? What about Kennedy? The bogus roofer? Yeah. He's gone over for a month. It's what? I'm in charge of that case. I'm sorry. Your boss said that Kennedy was up for an interim appearance, that he'd be here. Look, I just work for CPS, but let's have a look. 
Yes, Angus Walter Kennedy. No, all parties were informed of the application for a month's adjournment. Defendant not required, defence solicitor only. Paper's incomplete, apparently. I'm sorting out a street ID. Kennedy's done a stack. I submitted those papers myself. Look, it's no good giving me paint, Mike. Looks like the problem's at your end for a nice change. Cross Street. Before you ask, sir, the answer's a respectful no. Sorry. But I only need short-term cover. Come on, boss. Cross Street lights, they could be like that for weeks. I'm going to have to see a supervisor. Well, that's up to you, sir. But the last time we covered those lights, we had nothing but trouble over the overtime payments, and then we didn't get it in full. It's not me, but the union might have something to say about it. Marjorie, I cannot spend all day dealing with this. I've got work to do. Well, I suggest that you try getting a response, because I might as well be talking to the man in the moon. Listen, Mar... Marjorie, look. Marjorie, please listen. Now, you get hold of the contractors and you make a decision, all right? Well, that's up to you, but please don't contact me at work again until you get a result, all right? Where is everybody? Lunch. Oh, well, you'll have to do, I suppose. <laughs> well, I'm only new here, but I'll help if I can. A case of mine was meant to be up in court this morning, and it wasn't. I want to know why. What name? Angus Walker Kennedy. Oh, the man who pretends to be a builder. I'm listening. Well, I got mixed up. The papers weren't complete. I put the papers in myself. All you had to do was push them through a machine. Well, well I'm not used to these new word processors. <laughs> I see. The computer's to blame. Oh, well, that's it then, isn't it? I mean, the fact that I'm working my backside off trying to put villains away doesn't matter a fig because you can't work the word processor. Look, I did tell the supervisor. The CPS said it would be all right. It's not all right with me. I'm sorry. Do you realise I've wasted a whole morning's work due to this department's inefficiency? Look, I didn't do it on purpose. Nobody ever does. Bad day. Just been for a walk. I tell you, if he mentions that damn cottage once more... Why don't you just take a sheet of polythene over it as a stopgap? What? In a national park? You wanted a word? Uh, cross Street, sir. It's thorny. Look, we're stuck with the situation. Fine, love. Had it up to here. Well, that's as maybe, sir, but Hollis has made official representation. Do you know, that man is like a wasp. A pain, I agree, sir, but this time Bob and I tend to agree with some of his beef. Yeah. We've been to have a look at the site, sir, and frankly, that junction flows much smoother without traffic lights. He's right. There seems to be a natural filter at that spot. So, whoever made the decision to install lights there in the first place had absolutely no idea of traffic management. That's rich, isn't it? Eh? Do you know who chaired that committee? No. You well, got me. Clue. Used to be a chief super on this subdivision. Oh, no, not DAC Hicks. <laughs> Says it all. So, because it's on his route, we have to cover it. Mm. Don't forget the salute, Andrew. Yeah, it's giving us a serious resource problem, though, sir. Look, Andrew, at this moment in time, right, all I want to do is to get through this day, then sink a big gin and tonic in front of Newsnight. The rest is academic. Aren't you forgetting Hollis, sir? If he insists on inciting green mutiny, take him down the kennels and strangle him. She's a nice girl. We try to get the best people. It's an excellent agency. It's difficult enough having to sort these court files out without having detectives going off at half cock and insulting our staff. I might have been prepared to put it down to a personality clash, but Michelle was very upset. Yes, come in. Uh, you wanted me, sir. Ah, oh, Kim. Sergeant Glabwin and Mr. Adrian have a complaint to make. I'm sorry, ma'am, but it's a totally out of order situation. I can understand resistance against the department. That's only natural. But we can't have staff berated, Kim. One of my officers. DC Dashwood. In fact, I'm certain it killed off a load of the old regulars. You know, all that carbon monoxide. Oh, don't encourage it. If we were unionised, you'd be a scam. Why do I get this urge to pull your tooth out with pliers, Hollis? <clears throat> I'm off. Look, Reg, this may come as a surprise to you, but I enjoyed doing point duty. You know, people actually smiled and waved at me. Enjoyed it? Yeah. And here's another point of information. I don't give a toss about global warming, so leave me alone to enjoy the pollution, OK? In Anglo-Saxon, that is... Yeah, all right. Message received. Just let them try and put me on the points. Yeah. £3,200? 
Yes, I know I asked you to make a decision, Marjorie. I didn't expect you to bankrupt me in the process. Oh, it's all right. Um, I'll come back when you're not so, so busy. Yes. You're fine. Ah, Mike, take a seat. Thanks. Something bothering you? No, Mum. Sure? Positive, Mum. That's surprising, because I've just come from a very interesting meeting concerning you. Me? Yes, you don't have much time for our crime support unit, I understand. <laughs> that. No. So, what's your problem? Oh, it's quite simple, Mum. Due to their incompetence, they mucked up a case of mine today. Ah, Kennedy, the distractions offence. Yes. Not a very good one, though, was it? Evidentially quite weak, if I remember right. That's my gripe. Their stupidity has destroyed any chance of putting a further charge to him. And ended my credibility with a good contact and an old woman who says she's never going to help the police again. Would that be Mrs Lawrence? Actually, yes. And in your wisdom, you decided she should be hawked about outside a court building in the vain hope that she might pick out Kennedy in some impromptu street ID? It was the only chance I had. Fraught with problems, non-starter. <laughs> what was I expected to do? I was investigating a crime. You're forgetting. I've been there, applied the same pressure. Get a maybe identification in the hope you can exert pressure on your punter. Kennedy deserves it. Yes, I agree. And three years ago, you could have got away with it. But you knew Kennedy was going to be there. <laughs> it would stick to high heaven as a set-up job. The, the, the identification wouldn't even get me on CPS. At least I would have given him a good run. With the hollow threat that every time he steps out on the street, you'd have some old biddy in her best clothes waiting to point an arthritic finger at him. No, Mike, it's like car conversation. They don't... No, it can't happen anymore. I would have stood a fighting chance if the support unit had done their job. Tell me. What was your motivation in treating that girl so unsympathetically? If she can't use a computer, she should be out. And that justifies your bypassing the chain of command? Oh, come on, Mum. Civvies are taking over this job. A whole morning wasted. And not just mine, people I've cultivated gave my word to. And then I take the flak because of some daft girl. I'm, I'm sorry, am I under a microscope here, Mum? Tell me, is there something I should know? Like what? Well, do you have a problem at work, at home? I don't have any problems. But there's something niggling me at the back of my mind about you. All right, so you're always immaculate and your pocketbook is spotless, but if you were giving it 100%, you wouldn't really have the time. Tell me, what are your ambitions? I don't want to talk about it. Which confirms my feelings about you. <laughs> Which are? You have an attitude problem. Mum, this is way out of order. I believe in saying it as I see it, and in my view, you are a loner and somewhat on the defensive. Is that fair? Whatever you say, this morning's cock-up had nothing whatsoever to do with me. I think before you let your mouth run away with your brains, you better come with me. That's well, not one of mine, I'm sorry. Do you find another cup of tea, Viv? Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. <clears throat> Making this as embarrassing as possible, Mum. Examined your tray this morning. I've been too busy wasting time. Might be prudent to. I've been stitched here. Would you like to read it to me, please? The case of Andrew Watson Kennedy is to be adjourned. Officer and witnesses not required for court. Not required. And what date was that signed? <sighs> Yesterday. Yesterday. And by whom? You. But I cannot... No buts, Mike. Final. Now, I want you to take stock. I don't know where your mind is, but it's certainly not on work. And you can resist me all you like, but I intend to find out. Everything all right? No, accident, sir. Sierra 1 from Sierra Oscar. Atkinson Road, traffic lights, Sirius PI accident. Four vehicles. Traffic patrol and ambulance on way. Sierra 1 received. I've got data with me. There in two minutes. Sierra Oscar from Sierra Oscar 3. Tell the governor I'm attending to assess the situation. Come on, we're on overtime. Let's get the big boot down. <laughs> it's been one of those days, Kim. 
You heard about my roof? Oh, yes, sir. It sounds expensive. <laughs> yeah, it's prohibitive. Oh, what's Dashwell got to say for himself? Well, I've got a feeling there could be a ticking bomb there. Well, it's probably just a momentary lapse. We're all entitled to one. But let's hope so, sir. Yes, come in. If it is Marjorie, I do not want to know. Uh, no, staff problem, sir. Yes? Uh, the lights at Cross Street have been fixed, sir. Go on. Well, apparently, when the engineers were sorting it out, some cables were disturbed, which in turn blacked out Atkinson Road, causing the accident earlier. The point, please, Derek. Hollis is trying to persuade the late shift to down tools on traffic control. Now, he's talking about making it a false issue. It's a tricky one, sir, because for whatever the reasons, headquarters are going to be squinting at us for allowing the situation to escalate. And what with Hicks's observations this morning? Right. Come with me. The service should be switching into environmental issues. If we give in to the management now in doing dangerous tasks, we might as well be Pavlov's dogs, right? What's going on here? Oh, I'm not being awkward, sir. It was just necessary to point out the responsibilities we had on the green issue. Right. We're all up to date on the rain for us, are we? And I suggest we get out on the streets and do what we're paid for, police work. Now, go on, move. But, sir, the I've got a very gone. important job for you, Hollis. Yes, of course, sir, anyway. Atkinson Road traffic lights. Yeah, but, sir, move! Right, OK, sir. I was just giving a view. If I get one whiff of disaffection from you, Hollis, your feet will not touch the ground. Now, go on, get out. Yes, sir. Burglars are easy. Staff are impossible. It's about time people realised who was running this show. Yes, Derek. Mind you, it's the best management motivator ever. What is? Grief. Reaches parts of the station other methods can't reach. Oh, come on. Elastic's probably snapped. Give it back, Hollis. Yeah. Well, probably works for my wife. Um... Oh, that's right. There's no need to thank me. No, that's what colleagues are for. Punks. So you come to work in the station, then? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Mrs Brownlow. I, I don't know where he is. But if you'd like to hang on for a bit, I'll try to connect you. 